Hello, my name's Cathy Sudlow. I'm the Chief Scientist for UK Biobank. I'm also a consultant neurologist working in the NHS in Scotland. I'd like to tell you a little bit about UK Biobank and why it's an incredibly important research resource for addressing questions about common diseases that can affect people later in life. It's an important resource not only for research conducted in the UK, but for research done by researchers in the whole of the global research community. UK Biobank's recruited about half a million people who live all over the UK and very kindly donated their time uh, to tell UK Biobank about themselves and provide a great deal of information, also to have various measurements taken and to provide samples of their blood and urine and saliva to be stored for future research analyses. These individuals are now being followed up to see what happens to them as the years go on. And they'll be followed for the next 10, 20, or even 30 years or more, um, so that the resource will get more and more informative as time goes by. The resource is going to allow researchers who apply to access the very valuable data that it holds to address questions about the causes of diseases like cancer, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and joint diseases the kind of things that really are very important for the public health in the UK and in many other countries in the world. One of the really exciting things about UK Biobank is that it's an open access resource. And that means that researchers anywhere, so long as they have an important research question to address that's in the public interest, can apply to use the resource to address their question. And once they've done that, one of the agreements that they will uh, sign up to with UK Biobank is to provide their results back to the resource so that the useful data that they generate through doing their research can be built into the resource and made available for future research endeavours. So the resource becomes more and more valuable as time goes by. That means that some of the most exciting discoveries that will be made in the future will be important not just for people who are alive today, but for future generations.